Why was Jesus Christ born? Why was he ultimately born? I mean, what was the complete purpose of Jesus Christ's physical life in the flesh? See how easy that was? Real easy. Real easy. Every place on the planet Earth is predestined to catch hell. Every last place. There's not a corner of this planet that God doesn't have in his plans. Do everybody understand that? Why? Because everybody has forgotten about God. They all seeking the so-called good life. They all complacent with you know what's going on in their lands, what's going on in their areas, and they all comfortable. So the Lord said, you know what? I see. I gotta. I gotta let them know my name, not the name that we call them by, but the name that Egypt know them by, the name that the Babylonians know them by, the name that the Persians and the Medes know them by, the names that the Greeks know them by, the name that the Romans know them by. Everybody understand that? Which is a terrible God. A terrible God. That's what the nations on the planet Earth called our God. The terrible God. That became his name when he had to make himself known on the planet Earth. Do everybody understand that? Everybody got that? What happened in New Orleans, brother? That's, that was nothing. That was absolutely nothing compared to what's going to be going down in America. Do everybody understand that? And you see that they're not prepared. So what's ha what has to happen? What has to happen is there has to be prophets. The purpose of prophets is to let you know what's getting ready to go down. When you know what's getting ready to go down, then you can prepare yourself. You can be better prepared once it goes down. Do everybody understand that? Everybody got that? When Egypt was getting ready to catch hell during the time of Joseph, did they know what's getting ready to go down? Was they better prepared for what was getting ready to go down? And was they okay because what happened? Because of the vision that God gave Joseph. So even though hell came all over the planet Earth and all over the region, the Lord our God still made sure that his people was okay. Even when they didn't know they was gonna be okay. Even when they didn't know they was gonna be okay. Jacob and his family, they was in the land of Canaan. Waiting for rain and see if there was going to be an end to the famine. And there was no end in sight. They had to hear that there was corn in Egypt. Do everybody understand that? Everybody got that? So even when you're in a situation and you can't see God, he's still there. Even when you're in a situation and you can't see how he's working, he already set something up. Just because you can't see it don't mean that he ain't set something up already. God has always been there for the Israelites that have been in the same place spiritually. Do everybody understand that? Everybody got that? And that's why you got to get there. That's why the Lord said, ask me of things to come concerning my sons. That's you guys, sons and daughters, the nation of Israel. What is your future? It's going to change in time. Every time, the, every, every moment the clock ticks, there's change coming in your life, your personal life, your individual lives, and our lives as a nation. Every minute that go by, every hour that go by, Something is changing. It's heading towards change. It's leading towards change. Now, what is your change? What is your situation that's going to change? Is it going to change for the better? Or is it going to change for the worse? If you're in the right mindset, you're going to know that everything that go down is for the better. The scripture says that truly God is good to Israel. So no matter what you see happening, God is doing things because it's going to be a better situation for you, not a worse situation. The Lord ain't going to never put you in a worse situation, even though you may think it's a worse situation. I'm getting some looks like, why is this brother coming up here talking about this? I must know something. If I'm going to come up here and talk about these things, then I must be knowing some things. And let me say this, let me say this. In order for this to be a year of glory, everybody's looking forward to, you know, diamond studs and putting in their face like that. But it ain't going to be like that. <laughs> Not right away. Not right away. Do everybody understand that? Everybody got that? It ain't going to be like that for everybody, but as a nation, as a whole, 
As long as we band together, as long as you are doing what you're supposed to be doing in the spirit of God, you're going to see that God is bringing this nation up and ele elevating this nation on a high level. Do everybody understand that? The ones of you that's trying to hide in the audience and trying to hide in the crowd and trying to fool God, and you hear and you praising your howl, but you're not really honoring the Lord God in spirit and in truth, you think the Lord don't know who you are? You think the Lord going to let you escape? The ones of you that don't believe in every word of God, how important is it to believe in every word of God? And you think that you're going to find a way out of this? There ain't going to be no way out of this. The Lord got you on that list. He's going to prove some things to you. See, he ain't going to forsake you. He just got to show you because you got complacent. You don't believe. You don't forgot that he is God. And he's going to deal with us according to Scripture. He's going to deal with us first. We're going to be the first ones to get dealt with. See, he got to get his house in order. How God not going to have his house in order when he's putting the whole planet Earth out of order? The ones that's supposed to take over when everything is chaotic is his house. So you know they got to be in order. So God came back and said what? Isaiah chapter 45, verse 11. Read it one more time. Thus saith the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, Read on. and his maker, Read on. ask me, Do what? ask me Read on. of things to come concerning my son Come on. and concerning the work of my hand. Read on. Command ye me. Yeah, this is a commandment from God. When you want to know anything that's going on, you got to ask. One of the questions we never get in the Israel, we get plenty of questions. And one of the questions we, I know I never personally got it, is what is happening on the planet Earth today in the world that we live in? Why is all these things going down the way it's going down? What is all of this leading to and why is God doing these things? How is these things going to affect us as believers? How is my life going to change? The place where I'm at right now, I may be comfortable where I'm at right now. Is it wrong for me to be feeling that way? We never get these questions. And the answer to answer that question, because I don't want your mind thinking, it ain't wrong for you to feel comfortable, but it's wrong for you to want to stay in a situation that is not comfortable. How many of you understand what I mean by that? You can feel comfortable. In other words, you can have a prison cell and make it comfortable. You're going to try to do the best out of what you're going to try to make the best out of what you got, right? But when you look around, it's still prison. No matter how many pictures you put up, no matter how many, no matter how many down photo, down uh, uh, pillows you done damn fluffed up, how many record players they allows you to have, when you look around, it's still prison. So what God is saying that you can live a comfortable life. When you look around, remember, it's still the land of your captivity. Ultimately, you're supposed to be looking for freedom. Ultimately, no matter how nice the house is that the Lord has allowed you to get here, there's better houses in our homeland. Right. You're supposed to be knowing that. You're supposed to be knowing that. Give me the book of, give me the book of Revelation chapter 18, verse 4, and let's take a look at that. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. Read that for me, please. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. Read that one more time. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. This is talking about Babylon the Great, which is translated in the time that we're living in, is known as America. Do everybody understand that? What is God telling his people to do as far as America is concerned? Read it one more time. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Read on. Come out of her. My people. Come out of her, my people. Read on. That ye be not partakers of her sin. That means the mindset of America. Do everybody understand that? That means the spirit of this world. Do everybody understand that? You're not supposed to be in the same spirit that the world is in. The things that make them happy is supposed to make you sad. How many of y'all agree with me on that? The things.